So here I'm just mixing my jasmine, just making sure I have no clumps. I have three colors. I have a grayish uh, black, I have a white, and I also have a natural stone. Also, the gray and the white is white marble by jasmine. It's the one that has the nice sparkly effect to it. So here I am getting my mold ready. Just make sure it's clean and washed and dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pouring one of the colors in, ideally on one side of the vessel, sorry, inside of the mold, um, and just making sure it reaches at the bottom of the mold so that you don't have any bubbles or any gaps. And this will just give you a smooth, clean look. Although there are times where you might get a bubble here and there, but honestly, it just takes practice. So this is my second color. So same thing, I'm just going to put it wherever I would like, making sure that it gets all the way to the bottom of the mold. Uh, that way there is no bubbles. And what you're going to do is make sure that you're doing this when the jasmine is still wet. Don't do this when it's dry because you don't want harsh lines in between where the colors meet. You want to have a smooth transition in between. So well, here I'm just going to make sure I tap the mold to ensure there is no bubbles. Just tap, 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 tap. And um, we're just going to allow it to dry and then we'll come back and see the results. All right, so we're back. It's dried and we're going to go ahead and demold so we can see the results. So this is the final product. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you next time.